Hi guys, and welcome to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. In this video, we're going to talk about a very important component in your audio system. One of the most important when we're talking about vinyl records, vinyl records reprodu music reproduction. What am I talking about? Preamplification. So the core topic of this video is going to be preamps. Let's take a look. Okay, so what is a preamp, a preamplifier? Well, it's the component that is immediately after the signal which comes from your cartridge. So we have our turntable, we have our cartridge, which picks up the signal directly from the grooves. It's transformed inside in an electric signal, which goes out from the uh, the pins through the wires and the first element that is along the chain is our preamp. Why is it called preamp? Because it comes before the amplifier, the true amplifier, the true receiver of our, sig of our music um, system. So a preamplifier has the very important and delicate task to amplify, enlarge, let's say, the, uh, the very subtle and um, weak music signal that comes from our cartridges, from our um, MC or MM, moving coil or moving magnet cartridges. Why am I talking of new, new moving magnets and, mov and moving coils? That's the two different types of cartridges because according to that, you're going to have to choose which type of preamplifier you need in your system. Before going ahead, I do want to highlight an important aspect of this. Please do not buy turntables with the preamplifier on board. I mean, obviously they're going to cost much less. Like, um, for example, Audio-Technica has, I would say, some good, um, decent uh, models with a preamplifier on board. Why is this done? Because people do not want to have to fuss around to try to understand what you need along the, the signal chain because obviously um, mu the music reproduction through vinyl isn't that easy. It's not an mp3 file which you press play and then and you have it. No, it's a little more compli complicated but I think that's that's the cool part of this music reproduction. Also because you can have the power to change the components to reach a good quality. Otherwise, if everything is already set, you can't do anything. I mean, you're stuck with that. Then if it's not good, how it's probably gonna not be, since when a preamp is integrated inside a, a turntable, usually, I would say always, in all, in all cases, the sound is not gonna sound that good. The music is gonna be rather harsh, I must say. Since, uh, I, I, I know this because I, I've, I've changed a lot of preamplifiers in my early stages and I was spending very few um, euro dollars, whatever, whatever it is, and finally I decided to spend a little more, not, not thousands of, of dollars or euros or whatever we're talking about, and not even, I would say just a few hundreds if you are willing to do that. I think it's worth the money. Obviously, it's not cheap. I'm not talking about a few dollars like in other solutions I, I've discussed in other videos. Here, I would say uh, you need to spend a few couple of hundred dollars or hundred euro, but you will have an excellent product for your lifetime. So, I will talk mainly talk today of my discovery, which is already uh, an old, an old model, an old, an old version of a preamp, but that's that's not um, a bad thing. I'll get to it. So this is my preamplifier, the Lemon Audio Black Cube. This is a German house, Lemon Audio, an excellent manufacturer. And I must say that when I introduced this little guy in my system, the music changed completely. I finally 
reached a high fidelity, a high quality music reproduction from my records. Up until then, for example, I was using my, the preamplifier already present in my amplifier, in my receiver. That's another thing, another aspect that I would highly recommend not to use. I have an excellent amplifier. Maybe one day I'll show it to you. We'll talk about it. But the preamplifier is not good. I mean, you're killing the sound there, unfortunately. You would think also that the length, the, the closeness from preamp to amp would help will inc the signal, the, the, the direct contact between the two parts. Well, yes, probably that, 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 can, that can help the signal, but if the preamp is not of high quality, unfortunately, we're, it, you're not gonna have a good music signal. So, as I was saying, this is an excellent product. You can find it used on the market. Look for it in America, in Asia, in Europe, mainly in Europe. I'm sure you're gonna find because this had a lot of success. Now there's a new model, which I assume it's, it's even better. But if you want, don't want to spend that much, too many, too much um, money on it, try to look for this in the mute, in the used market. I guarantee you will be very satisfied, especially if you're coming from your preamp integrated in your uh, turntable or in your receiver. Make sure, if unfortunately you do have a turntable with your preamp already inside, make sure that the music signal has a line out. In that case, you can connect directly that to your preamp. Otherwise, it, it, you're gonna have a problem there because the, 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 the music signal has already been preamplified and you cannot do that twice. Otherwise, you're gonna degrade the sound. You're gonna have some issues with your, with your system. What is an important part of the Black Cube and any other preamplifier you are planning to buy? Well, the most one of the most important aspects is surely to have the power part of the amplifier. What is going to give the electric current to your preamplifier must be separated from the preamp. See, there are two elements which compone this, this setup. Why this is important? Because everything that regards the, the mere powering of your elements, it's always better to have it external of your piece of equipment, whatever it is actually. Anything, it's better if the, the power section is separated from the main um, uh, tape deck, tape recorder, CD player, and on and on, whatever it is. Obviously, it's more expensive. In this case, usually, uh, it, it, might, it might be a, more, a little more expensive but the results are definitely worth it, absolutely. Another important part to keep in mind regarding the power section of a preamp is also, if you can, choose the correct power cord. Please invest a few bucks, a few euros in a good power cord because it, it does make a difference, especially when we're talking about amplification. I'm gonna do uh, in a few weeks, maybe less, a video on this because it's a very important topic. So please try to invest uh, some money also on the power cord, even in, even in a second moment. Just keep in mind, don't use the standard cable because usually it's something very cheap, something wiry and black like this, which doesn't have enough shielding, which doesn't have good connectors, conductors, and, and things like that. So even connectors. So. Try to, to, to invest some of your money in that. The good part of the Black Cube, turning back to this little guy here, is that it's good for moving coil and also moving magnets. Now, the big difference between these two is that moving coil cartridges, which usually are considered the best, although you do have to spend a little more to have a good quality moving coil cartridge, otherwise, if you, if, you, if you go in the lower section, you might as well go to a high level moving magnet uh, type of cartridge. Okay, apart from that. Moving coil cartridges. What's the difference with moving magnets? Well, the basic difference. Well, moving coils has a very, very weak signal. I mean, 
it's really, really subtle. So that's why it is very important to have an excellent preamp, which will in increase, enhance the, the music signal and finally deliver it to the, uh, the amplifier and they're on to the loudspeakers and then finally to our ears. So pay attention to this. It's a very important aspect, which I will always remind you because I think this is one of the key components in our music system. Before the end of this video, I want to illustrate the main elements of the preamp, of the Black Cube preamp. So here is the main chassis where you can see this little knob, which has a screw, which can go up and down. And this is, as you can see, used to connect the ground directly to your turntable. This will help you to avoid certain hums or uh, distortion in the, uh, in, the, in the music signal. Here we have high quality connectors for the input and obviously the output, which is going to go directly to the amplifier at that point. And if we go on the other side, here we can see a little better the different characteristics for a moving coil and a moving magnet type of cartridge. As you can see, here you have some switches which uh, allows you to change the gain of the, um, the music signal, which practically means the, the amount of electric current for um, what you're going to use, which the typology of cartridge you're gonna use. Both um, have to be completely symmetrical, completely identical, both switches. And that's about it. As you can see, this is the power cord, which is directly connected to it. You can't not change this, but you do can change the power cable in the power section. Well, okay guys, I hope you like this short video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying these, these videos, and I hope to come out with other excellent or in interesting at least videos in the next weeks. Bye guys, thank you for following me, bye.